r slash ask reddit bartenders of reddit what's an underrated drink more people should try water bartenders where i go have a fit when i ask for a lot of water they think it's a pain in the butt i am all for lit really every person in the bar drinking more water i only have a problem with people asking for water when we have self-serve water cooler stations set up with cups and i've directed the same goddamn person towards them six times but they keep insisting on getting water from me and giving me these incredulous looks when I point to the water, cooler that is three feet away from where they're standing. I promise it's not effing poison water. It's the same crap that comes out of my soda gun. Palomas. Vodka gimlets. My nana told me they were her first experience with alcohol and she liked them so much she slammed eight. Then there was some talk of my papa having to help her with her girdle and I blocked out the rest. Since it's in season now, try a basil gimlet. Make sure to smash the basil leaf with your hand like you're clapping, not muddle, to release the notes. Strain from the shaker, leaving the leaves behind. I second this. Just tried it with lemon basil instead of regular basil and it was even more phenomenal. Whiskey smash. In a cocktail shaker, muddle a couple lemon wedges in simple syrup. Add a few mint leaves and an ounce and a half to two ounces of whiskey. Shake and strain over fresh ice. It's a super refreshing summer drink. Another one I've been drinking lately I don't have a name for, but you take an ounce and a half of gin, half ounce of Saint Germain, half ounce of lemon juice and a few dashes of grapefruit bitters. Shake and strain over fresh ice. Equally refreshing as a whiskey smash, if you like gin. Another one I've been drinking lately I don't have a name for. That's a Fitzgerald, but with Saint Germain instead of simply syrup. Use rose water instead of grapefruit bitters and a half ounce of grapefruit juice, and that's my summer drink right now. I've been using Empress Gin too, so it's beautiful to look at. Good old Tom Collins. To bartenders everywhere, sweet and sour mix is no substitute for lemon juice and simple syrup. Amateur bartender, which, I think, just makes me an alcoholic, but my choice of drink for New Year's are corpse revivers. It was a precursor to the Bloody Mary in that it was supposed to cure a hangover, according to the original recipe. You were supposed to drink five of them in quick succession to cure the hangover. I don't know how they did it, but five will just about kill me. Gin or bourbon, if you like. Lilit, Blanc, Cointreau, and lemon juice. Ah, uh, yes, drinking to push the hangover down the road. That's the line, now you're officially alcoholic. Well, if I stop altogether, the cumulative hangover will probably kill me. Along the same train, what's the best way to handle ordering a drink listed here when the bartender obviously has no idea what you're referring to? I'm assuming in a local hangout, relatively quiet. It's easy to hand your phone over, but that doesn't work anywhere populated. My opinion, if the bartender isn't familiar with the cocktail and it's a busy night, you really don't want to order that drink. Find something similar on the menu or ask what they enjoy making lately. Definitely. That's a good idea in asking what they enjoy making. Dark and stormy. Gosling's rum, crucial. Ginger beer and lime wedge. I keep Gosling's rum and ginger beer stocked in my house. And limes are on every shopping list, whether I need them or not. Love a dark and stormy. Former bartender. Try a Moscow mule. Some places might just call it a mule or a random vodka brand mule. Top shelf Russian vodka, ginger beer, lime juice, served in a copper mug, easy enough to make and delicious, good for all season. Served in a copper mug, random side story, went to a bar and saw this advertised complete with mug, convinced girl to order it. It came out in a regular glass, where the F do you get off serving this in anything other than a copper mug, especially since the goddamn picture of it is right on the effing menu. Horse jizz. 50% milk, 50% beer. I'm sickened, but curious. 